Paris Tobiko is the senator Kajado County, and she's our guest this hour. Nominated senator Kajado County. Still, um, it's not. It's important to put the nominated so that we are sure of where we are playing. Uh, so definitely, you cannot leave that out. Indeed, Karibu Sana. Thank you. We're getting into that conversation this hour. A lot is happening. There are a lot of balls in the air, and there are a lot of questions being asked in terms of what's happening. Yeah. And uh, from your position, nominated, yes, uh, but still very much yes, in sir. the seat when it yes, comes yes, to driving a number yes. of things. So we'll be able to have that conversation this morning. Yes, yes. CT normally welcomes everybody who comes into this room with a proverb. And uh, they're from a different country every week. Mm. This ahead. week, our proverbs have been and still are from the country of Malawi. Mm -hmm. But the weekend's tomorrow. Now, today being Thursday, the day before Friday, we tend to make our proverbs simple easy to consume and simple to understand ants die in sugar that is the proverb of the day ants ants mm. yes see auntie oh. Oh. Ants. Ants. Yes. the little ants the little yeah, ones yes yeah, yeah, those ones maybe they ate too much what does that mean to you senator I mean, maybe too much of everything. Mm. Uh, it's not good. It's death. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tends to be poison. Yeah. yeah. Too much of everything mm. indeed. But maybe Buga can tell us if that's the right interpretation. Actually, that's the point. <laughs> you see, proverbs speak to people differently. And the reason why we ask for other people's opinions is yes. we want to know how that proverb speaks to them. Mm -hmm. so, so your interpretation cannot possibly be wrong. Oh. Yes. Mm. All right. Yes. It's how. You resonate with it. All right. Yes, okay. indeed. Mm. And what it means to you. Yeah. Well, how about we come from your county, yes. even as we're talking about, you know, before we get towards what happens. What's the state of things in Kajado County? Not too far from the center of things in terms of Nairobi, mm -hmm. and then also instrumental in how certain things um, work. I guess everyone is. Uh, but speaking from a point of view of um, um, the nominated senator... Mm -hmm. Kajado County. Mm -hmm. Tell us what's going on in the county. Devolution. We've just come out of talks for the next five years, uh, for the next year in terms of planning. Where are we? Um, Kajado County, you know, uh, is a very interesting county. As you say, it's uh, right, um, you know, almost the bedroom of Nairobi. Mm -hmm. A lot of Nairobians uh, do spend their, I mean, have their residential homes in Kajiado, but do work in Nairobi. And so, you know, there's quite a high demand in Kajiado uh, for infrastructure, you know, there's demand for services um, uh, more than ever before. Um, originally, Kajado was a pastoralist sort of county, uh, but it's changing very fast. Mm. You know, um, uh, there is an urban population that has come in and making demands, you know, on the leadership um, and expecting a lot. Um, and there's also a strain on, you know, the available infrastructure. Mm -hmm. And so Kajado, Kajado is one county that may need to move faster than it is moving, um, you know, to impress development. Mm. Um, even as we take care of the traditional, uh, you know, set of, uh, or lifestyle of, of, of the uh, indigenous people. Mm. Yeah. And so um, I think uh, Kajero is not moving fast enough as it should. Um, uh, to uh, be on top of things. Um, uh, the hospitals are not uh, up to standard. Um, there's hue and cry about the Saitoti Hospital, needs medication, needs um, uh, services, needs doctors. Um, but yes, they are moving. We are moving. Mm. Mm. How have um, the politics which have been quite strong mm -hmm. coming out of Kajado mm -hmm. then played out against this very same development that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. There's sometimes the need where we talk about the preservation of culture mm -hmm. um, for Kenya vis-a-vis mm -hmm. um, -vis developments, which is something that you've brought up now. Yes. But then politics somehow seems to always play um, in the middle of all of that. Is there a balance that can or has been started to be created whereby the preservation of culture is felt, but at the same time, development agenda mm -hmm. then starts to rise in terms of indices? Um, 
I saw the other day the county has um, uh, loaned a special plan, you know, so maybe they are going to organize uh, better um, to have, uh, you, you know, the land use properly organized and planned so that uh, w w the areas that's meant to be range lands is kept uh, that way mm -hmm. and, and, and the areas that are meant to be for industrial uses and uh, also residential are well planned. Um, I think that's uh, coming out well and that it's becoming Im uh, imperative that the county embraces all dynamics, mm. both urban and rural at the same time. Right. Yeah. What are the plans for the county um, uh, coming into the year? I mean, we, everybody went to Eldoret uh, about a month ago mm -hmm. and there were the CIA um, um, uh, DPs yes. that were set out yes. and being heavily involved in that again a closet county of Nairobi yeah. but then instrumental when it comes to um, the general uptake of the country mm -hmm. what are the plans to say that you know it will be a working county I wouldn't really want to speak for the county because I believe the county executive, the governor and his team should be able to do that. Mm. Um, ours is to oversight, uh, you know, on, on the implementation of the CIDP mm -hmm. and to make sure that uh, the resources that have been allocated from the national level and even on source revenues are well spent uh, according to budgets, mm -hmm. according to plans. Um, and, 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 and that the resources are effectively utilized. And so um, ours is a lot more on the oversight. Absolutely. Uh, um, to see that they are spending well what they have received and what they have collected, uh, you know, from uh, Common One uh, and, yeah. and, and sure. I mean, <laughs> and one of the ways to do that, <laughs> to oversight yes. over whether money is being spent well yes. and doing audits <laughs> of if they actually said that they will do what they said that they do what they said they will do yes then a little bit of knowledge of some of those plans then of course from yeah. your side definitely is necessary yeah yeah, yeah. we have seen them uh, launching the special plan the other day that uh, the county government was uh, doing a mazingira initiative mm -hmm. i think um, just to handle the environment in terms of cleanliness and all that i i, I think they are they are on it mm -hmm. they're on it Maybe just they should be a little faster than uh, they are. Right. Yeah. You know, there is always this role that we are informed mm -hmm. is the role of Parliament. Yes. Both Senate and the National Assembly. Mm -hmm. Oversight. Yes. Now, this is the first time you are sitting and representing Kenyan people as a senator. Yes. Tell us about it. How is it? Oh. Um, Okay, thankfully, I have had a chance to, uh, you know, serve in both houses mm. because I have served as a National Assembly for 10 years mm. and now in the Senate. Mm. Um, I like the change of environment mm. at the moment. Mm. Um, you know, both houses do oversight, mm. okay? But the Senate, um, in Article 96 of the Constitution, mm. is um, uh, details the mandate of the Senate mm. in, in terms of representing uh, counties and protecting the interests of counties. Mm. Um, the Senate will um, oversee the allocation of national because resources. I have served at the National Assembly for 10 years and now in the Senate. Mm. Uh, Sorry, please go ahead. All right. Yeah. That's what you call a technical yeah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay. So, um, the, you know, the, the Article 96 details the uh, uh, functions of the Senate yes. in terms of uh, not just oversight, but also uh, in terms of representation of counties, uh, protecting interests of counties, and um, allocating uh, national resources to counties, mm -hmm. and also even oversighting in terms of uh, expenditure of own source revenue. Mm -hmm. um, all, all, also, uh, you know, the county assemblies, of course, do the oversight over the uh, county executive. Uh, they have the primary role. The, the Senate has the secondary oversight role over the counties. Um, basically, the, um, the Senate will do legislation that protects and promotes the interests of counties. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how has that worked out? So far, so good. Mm -hmm. um, the Senate has been on top of things. 
um, the Senate has been able actually to challenge several pieces of legislations that have been passed in the National Assembly without passing through the Senate. Um, and the courts have, uh, you know, passed a, a judgment in favor of the Senate around 23 pieces of legislations. Um, so the Senate has not been, I mean, it has been on top of, its, uh, of the game. The Senate has also, you know, the, overseen in, you know uh, various motions on uh, impeachment motions um, on <laughs> on governors and deputy governors um, mm. sometimes some are well substantiated others are not and so either the senate upholds uh, the impeachment or does not uh, and, and and this is part of the oversight role of the senate mm. yeah. see why one asks that question or rather why i ask the question yes is that every year when we look at the report that is issued by the Auditor General. Yes. There are very, very few issues that are pleasing to read regarding the functions of oh. those counties. Mm -hmm. So when one says that the Senate is mandated to oversight, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. how often does the Senate actually use the findings of the report of the Auditor General mm -hmm. to take mm -hmm. these governors to task? Because some of the issues that arise are horrendous because mm -hmm. the moment you talk about mm -hmm. funds that cannot be adequately accounted for, mm -hmm. you talk for expenditure on things that go above, way above what you may even call market rates mm -hmm. and it's indicated there. Mm -hmm. And yet, mm -hmm. one sees the governors still walking scot-free. So then one has to ask the question, is the role of oversight really working? Uh, I would say it is mm. to a certain uh, extent, yeah. Mm. One, um, when it comes in, in terms of legislation, as I have told you, mm. the Senate has been on top of things. N uh, passing the right legislation, uh, uh, stopping what seems to encroach on devolution matters from the National Assembly or from the National Executive. Um, um, but in terms of what is going on at the counties uh, now that is where the auditor general comes in mm. we will uh, the senate will then uh, depend a lot on the reports that are coming with the, that that is coming from the, the, auditor, audit, general. the auditor general yeah. because the senate has not had uh, uh, you know uh, has not been enabled to go out there and that is why the senate has been um asking for uh, you know oversight f uh, an oversight fund mm. to be able to uh, uh, proactively go to the ground mm. instead of waiting you know the auditor general is at the tail end of things mm. yes okay uh, and so these things are brought to the senate when the damage is already when, done. When they're historical. Yes, when mm. they're historical. Mm. So for the Senate to be proactive in o, on the oversight and to be uh, in real time, you know, in uh, uh, catching up with a number of things at the counties, mm. then the Senate needs not only to be um, just at the chamber legislating, mm -hmm. but the Senate will also need to be at Mashinani, mm. okay? And, and, and to be able to oversee these things. Mm. This is what the bit that has been missing because um, senators have not had um, have not been enabled to to undertake that kind of uh, uh, exercise. So there's you know, been no allocation to has, enable them? Mm. There has been no allocation. What is required for this allocation to be available? Uh, the uh, political goodwill. Mm. At the moment, for the first time, uh, you know, the president has uh, actually talked about it in, in, his, in the state of the nation address uh, in the national the last state of the nation address the president mentioned it that um, we are going to have a fund uh, an oversight fund for the senate a bit of allocation has been done in the budget now of around 500 million mm -hmm. um that's supposed to be uh, you know uh, rolled out mm -hmm. uh, it's not yet done I think they are still trying to put regulations in place. Mm. Maybe once this is done, we will then see the other side of the Senate uh, trying to preempt a lot of things that are happening at the counties now. What would it look like, Senator? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this fund comes into place yes. today. Yes. What are we talking about? Mm -hmm. That per county, there will be adjunct staff who would be hired, who would then be able to be 
um, auditors, for example, to audit systems, to audit accounts? What? Wh how would that look? Yeah. Would we see senators at the county level five out of seven days in a week, three out of five? What? How would that look like? Senators will then have supporting systems. Mm -hmm. Okay, including those experts, whether financial experts, uh, you know, whether uh, forensic experts, mm. whatever they are, uh, you know, in, in all sort of issues that are um, uh, being handled at the counties. Mm. Um, so what is missing is that supporting system for the senators to be able to get the information in real time. Mm. So the Senate has been uh, depending a lot on the on the on the reports from the auditor general mm -hmm. which is which is really uh, you know when when it's, the water is uh, past the bridge you mm -hmm. know uh, so you find that it's too late the, of course the senate will mention itself or, or on on those matters and how it has gone every day we are having governors on one issue or another but still this is after the damage is done mm -hmm. yeah Senator, um, mm -hmm. my question, I'd yeah. like to know your thoughts on the Senate Oversight Fund. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe yesterday, six senators nominated. Mm -hmm. um, one of them, Honorable Crystal Asige, yes. to petition mm -hmm. uh, PSC because the 500 million, mm -hmm. um, apparently how it was going to be divided was based on 47 elected senators. Mm -hmm. And only 9% of the 500 was going to go toward nominated uh, senators. Yeah. And the argument is that it is discriminatory mm -hmm. and um, it is not equal access to all senators. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to know your thoughts on that particular matter. <laughs> Interesting that, um, yeah, you seem to be on top of your things mm -hmm. also. I mean... Um, Yes, yesterday, um, the day before yesterday, uh, we served um, the, the leadership of the Senate with a court order um, to stop implementation of the oversight fund until the nominated senators are brought on board because we believe <laughs> we believe um, the oversight role is collective yes um, uh, we believe the definition of the Senate includes I mean there's no Senate minus the 20 who are nominated Senate is a complete formation when it's the 67 mm -hmm. okay and, and 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 we all do oversight mm -hmm. and not as a senator does not do oversight over their own county mm, right we do oversight you know across the board or on all counties and 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 so and and also the nominated senators are in the house representing very special interests sure. mm -hmm. both um gender um uh, disability and and, and 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 the youth you know and so this all these interests must be brought on board um uh, whether it is in in legislation or oversight or representation mm. and, and and so we it, it has not made sense to us that the um, parliamentary service commission would want then to uh, segregate, uh, divide the house mm. into uh, units, you know, mm. the elected, the nominated. Mm. Absolutely. That's, yeah. that's interesting mm. that you say that. Mm -hmm. It would be interesting for us to know then what the response has yes. been mm -hmm. uh, to that citation. Mm -hmm. Because the answer then mm -hmm. could one way mm -hmm. lead to maybe cementing of a particular belief whereby that the 20 nominated senators mm -hmm. are often given the short end of the stick mm -hmm. because of the overriding belief that mm -hmm. they were granted these positions out of kind of like a political favorship yeah. mm -hmm. that has come to your desk has it not mm -hmm. yes and so the 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 answer from that citation could be very interesting mm -hmm. because if we're saying that the whole 67 mm -hmm. it needs to be looked at in concert mm -hmm. but there is a belief and i'd like to hear your thoughts about that mm -hmm. that the 20 who have been nominated Mm -hmm. have been given this position as a favor <laughs> yeah um you know politics is played out in 
different forms. Mm. <laughs> Others will call denominated flower girls. Mm. Um, even when they are men. <laughs> even yes. when they are men. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and it, 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 I mean, that's, that's the kind of uh, uh, perception that's out there. Mm. But I can tell you uh, the role of the nominated senators as part of the House, of course, is, is, is very well defined in the Constitution. And, and the formation of the Senate is very well defined in the Constitution. And so the nominated are there by right, are there, are there uh, you know, uh, constitutionally. Mm -hmm. And so there is no way you can then dissect the House. Yeah. Um, today, and I wouldn't have wanted to preempt the debate that will be there today, mm -hmm. because today we will be having a kamkunchi towards the um, close of business, uh, um, you know, kamkunchi with the speaker and e everybody else. Uh, hopefully, sense will come to everybody, mm. you know, uh, but I believe we will, uh, it should be well. Okay. And, and it must be well. Mm. Yes. Do you think that the public understands your role? Because I know after the constitution, the mm -hmm. first term, mm -hmm. there was a bit of a disconnect yeah. on the role of the senator. We saw senators basically interfering with the role of governors. Mm -hmm. But right now, with your particular position and having an oversight role and your relation with the public, do mm -hmm. they understand what you're supposed to be doing in the assembly? I believe uh, Kenyans have also come of age, you know, in terms of um, uh, the awareness of the constitution and uh, what the constitution details, what Kenyans had aspired to have I I in the 2010 constitution and, and, and the role of both houses. It's very well defined and it's coming out well now that um, although governors are receiving resources, if they are not put in check, mm -hmm. you know, then a lot can go um, wrong, uh, haywire, you know, and 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 so uh, the public has come to understand the role of the senator is not only to push for resources to come to the county, but also to make sure that those resources are well expended. One thing that you did mention, and one thing that we've asked questions about, is that how is it that the Auditor General will come out with such damning reports month after month, we understand, year after, uh, years after these things have happened, and we just keep, seem to not do anything about it. And then everybody points a finger at you, the Senate, and says, how come you're not asking these questions? Mm -hmm. The Auditor General's job is to report that's her job, mm -hmm. to report anomalies that she may have mm -hmm. seen, mm -hmm. to report non-absorption, mm -hmm. to report those things. Mm -hmm. The job of the Senate in mm -hmm. its oversight capacity mm -hmm. is supposed to now look at some of these things yes. and start to question them yes. and recommend mm -hmm. after that. Mm -hmm. But then it seems as though, okay, we never see action after it's an auditor general's report our eyebrows are up and we say, oh my goodness, and then the dust settles and then we move on. Mm -hmm. Is that the true state of things? That Senate is not asking the questions and recommending action? No, not at all. The Senate has been asking questions, but um, there are systems. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the county assemblies are the primary um, you know, oversight uh, bodies that should be taking the governors on a day-to-day basis, you know, mm -hmm. um, uh, not waiting for the Auditor General's reports. They should be the whistleblowers. They should be, um, you know, on top of things, then uh, bring the attention of the Senate to these matters. Um, um, if that does not happen, then the Senate will realize a lot more on, on the Auditor General's report, which, as I said, comes at the very tail end. That is why the Senate has been um, proactively, you know, trying to establish a system that will enable the Senate, you know, to be on the ground, to be able to pick up uh, uh, things, to be able to, um, you know, uh, get get the necessary uh, antennas, you know, mm -hmm. in, um, to be able to point out things when they are still happening mm -hmm. and when they can be stopped in order to take preemptive measures um, in, instead of 
uh, coming at the very tail end mm. when we'll just all be screaming that this has happened and um, it's water under the bridge. And so um, the Senate has been, you know, uh, tightening uh, the loose ends mm -hmm. in terms of legislation. The Senate has been, uh, uh, you know, very proactive in 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 um, uh, telling the national government to let go functions that belong to the counties. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, the, 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 in unbundling the functions and also for resources to follow the functions. Right. This much, that far, the Senate has done very well. Uh, the Senate has also taken petitions from various uh, counties and, and members of county assemblies when when they do arise. Uh, those ones have been handled. Uh, so far, uh, quite a number have come to the Senate and they've been handled well. Um, yes, there's still a system that, in, that, that should be supportive to the senator uh, and 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 uh, or the the collective body of the senate to be able to do its uh, oversight role um, in real time. Right. That 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 is what needs to be uh, now established. And and I want to believe when this oversight fund is put in place and uh, is rolled out, then the senate. Will, uh, the performance of the Senate will go uh, uh, a, a, a notch higher. Mm. Yeah. From what you, I hear you saying, yes. there is a lot that could be done yes. to make the Senate far more effective. Mm -hmm. What are these things? What needs to be done? If you are given a wish list and mm -hmm. you told Moshimiwa, yes. uh, we are going to do what you ask. Yes. So these things that you would ask for, yes. what are they? That's question one. Yeah. One B, mm -hmm. when these things are granted, mm -hmm. what will a powerful Senate look like and what then will it actually be able to do? Okay. Um, this is what will happen. A supporting system that will then get information mm. in real time. As I said, uh, maybe have various experts um, uh, right from the ground establish that system so that the Senate has its own system that's working for the Senate besides the county assemblies because we rely a lot on the county assemblies and that's why we have um, the annual uh, legislative forum to try and educate and, and, and uh, uh, do a capacity building of the assemblies mm -hmm. so that they do that so besides the county assemblies, the Senate may need its own system up to the ground that then brings information uh, forward, that then puts this, uh, the Senate uh, you know, uh, on top of things, that the Senate will then be able, from Kajiado, this is what we see. Mm -hmm. From Wajia, this is what we see. From Mantera, this is what is coming. Once we have that kind of system, then... Um, in terms of legislation, in terms of closing loopholes, the Senate will be able to move much faster. Mm. Uh, we have seen a situation whereby the Senate committees do need to go to uh, various counties. And you're told there is no budgetary allocation. You know, if, even collectively, there is no budgetary allocation. So you can't move. And there has been uh, almost like a number of months where the committees could not move because there are no budgetary allocations for the committees to go to the counties. Mm. You know, then th th that really uh, disempowers the Senate, makes it, um, uh, you know, just maybe a legislative body, mm. but uh, uh, when it comes to teeth. oversight, mm. it, it's hampered. Mm. Yeah. Is uh, that intentional from what you're saying? Do you see it as an intentional um, action? To essentially suppress the potency of the Senate because what we're saying here is that if an oversight role mm -hmm. was effective mm -hmm. as what it should be mm -hmm. we wouldn't actually see a lot of the mishaps that we see taking place at that level so would it from your point of view is it something that's intentionally hampered in order for us to not see the power that has actually been given to Senate to oversight play out mm, maybe not mm. 
Maybe not. Let me let me uh, start from a positive angle. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Maybe it has been uh, that you know over time uh, we are getting to understand the constitution better. Uh, 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 the national government is yet to appreciate uh, what devolution should be all about. Uh, maybe also it's a bit difficult to let go what they have been used to holding at the ministries, you know, let's say the Ministry of Health is not ready to let go some functions that belong to the counties mm -hmm. and all that. But I think, um, um, and I could be biased on this one, maybe the, the new gov uh, the gov the Ruto government, mm -hmm. uh, we have seen really a lot of goodwill. When there was the uh, summit at Naivasha uh, and, and the agreements that were made with the governors that, uh, on the functions that the national government is going to release, the unbundling, I think we have seen a lot happening. And two, we have also seen the national government releasing all the allocations for, for, the for this financial year to the counties, you know, with something that has never happened. So you realize... Uh, Maybe we, with time, the various uh, governments are c getting to understand, really, that it makes even their job easier to give counties what is due to them, mm. you know? Uh, and, 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 and also, maybe the, the national government is also coming to realize the importance of the role of the Senate, mm. you know? And, and, and that will help us uh, when everybody understands the role of the other uh, to be complementary, to be, uh, you know, just that we will make things better. We will be able to um, watch over things better uh, for the benefit of Kenyans. Then I think everybody will let go what they should let go. Of. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you know, why I keep asking this eye. question yes. is this. Huh? <laughs> the, I, it's not possible to underestimate the role of the county government. Yes. yes. Because even when you look at it in principle, yes. It is the one tool that can actually bring the sort of development Kenyans have yearned for mm. since independence mm. and bring it to the level mm. of where the Monanchi is, mm. that's at mm. the MCA level. Mm -hmm. Now, again, if there is no oversight, yes. then there's absolutely no guarantee that the things that are supposed to be done will uh, be done. Are happening, yeah. Yes, now. Yeah. If you have a Senate that is hamstrung yes. right from the very beginning, mm -hmm. you know, this question, mm -hmm. we're asking it for the third time. Mm. Mm. One has to speculate. Mm. Is it deliberate? Because mm -hmm. if Senate was actually as powerful as it should be, then what will it mean? Yes. Beyond the county, what yes. else will they be able to, to do? do? Yes. Mm. Because the National Assembly mm. has failed on very many accounts mm. when it comes to the role of mm. uh, oversight. Mm. So we are doubtful yes. as citizens. Yes. Truly and sincerely doubtful yes. about the ability to look after our interest, mm -hmm. especially with regards to the function of oversight. Mm -hmm. Now, it was assumed that when you have an upper house, mm -hmm. that was what the center was envisioned to be, to yes, be, yeah. that they would also provide oversight mm -hmm. over things that the National mm -hmm. Assembly was doing. Yes. So there would be a, a, a check and balance. Mm -hmm. Now, right now, mm -hmm. there is none. Mm -hmm. And if there is, mm -hmm. it's tenuous. It's not something mm -hmm. you can speak about. Because mm -hmm. if it existed, mm -hmm. then the Auditor General's report would have been very different. Mm -hmm. Every year, we wouldn't be reading what we read. Because mm -hmm. most of what we read in the Auditor General's reports are horror stories. Mm -hmm. You do the maths, mm -hmm. and you're thinking, mm -hmm. this equals a school mm -hmm. building. This mm -hmm. equals a hospital. This equals a commodity mm -hmm. in a hospital. Mm -hmm. This equals mm -hmm. a road network. Mm -hmm. And all of it gone. Mm -hmm. And yet, mm -hmm. the people who would ensure that this ought to be done, mm -hmm. don't have the wherewithal to do it. Mm. So the mm -hmm. question of, mm -hmm. is it deliberate, mm -hmm. unfortunately, mm -hmm. has to be has at the forefront of our thinking. Mm. Yes. And was it originally designed mm. so that in such a way, on paper, mm. it looks as though you serve an oversight role. Mm -hmm. But we all know mm -hmm. that... Uh, Clipping of wings is not something that you have to tell somebody, I am going to clip your wings, wings yeah. before you know that your wings are clipped. Mm. So was it designed that way? And again, we have to ask the question, mm -hmm. was it then mm -hmm. or is it mm -hmm. overall stifling devolution mm -hmm. in the way in which it's supposed to? And just as I say, I, w I would wish to look at it positively mm -hmm. that maybe the intention is not to clip the wings. Mm -hmm. Maybe 
people have not under you know the we've been rolling out devolution mm. maybe uh, different governments had not understood uh, the benefits of having a strong senate okay mm. but today um i see like the current government is going to uh, enable the senate uh, as has already been uh, you know uh, indicated that the oversight fund will okay. be rolled out mm -hmm. okay if that is done then maybe things will be different mm. but even even with limited resources the senate has been able to do so much the senate has been able to stop legislation that would otherwise have gone through without uh, the participation of the Senate. The Senate has been able uh, to look at various counties, um, uh, impeach governors mm -hmm. who, uh, you know, they felt uh, the motions were well substantiated, uh, have uh, performed below expectations, and have gone against the, you know, the spirit of uh, the law and devolution. The Senate has been able to do uh, quite a bit, yeah. you know, and, and, and it's part of the oversight role. Uh, and, and, and so I think it's just going to be better. I, 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 I would not want to be pessimistic, you know, mm -hmm. that um, it's intentional to clip the Senate. If, if that is the case, then it's very unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, there were two bodies that were created at the time when we were promulgating our new constitution. Yeah. The role one was supposed to superintend and midwife the implementation of the constitution. Mm -hmm. One was to, to shepherd and again midwife the actual processing of devolution. Not just the implementation. Now, the lifespan of these bodies, I think, did not go beyond five years. The Transitional Authority? Yes, uh -huh. and the Constitutional Implementation Commission. Yes. Now, yes. Mm. I have wondered loudly, and I'm mm. wondering loudly again, mm. how is it mm -hmm. that something as enormous as the Constitution, mm. which is going to affect our lives for decades to come, mm -hmm. The body that is supposed to superintend mm. and ensure mm. that the implementation is in accordance with the law and the mm. wishes mm. expires after five years. Mm -hmm. The transitional authority, mm -hmm. which was supposed to again do the very same thing to determine national government, county government mm -hmm. and everything is therein, mm -hmm. are again shepherded, yes. extinguished. So who is there to ensure that these processes take place mm -hmm. when the two bodies that were supposed mm -hmm. to ensure that these things happen in an orderly manner, mm -hmm. in a structured manner, mm -hmm. don't exist or were made not to exist. Mm -hmm. So it's like just when they began their work and they also began to understand it, mm -hmm. they ceased to exist. But really, like the transitional authority, and I, be, I want to believe also the um, constitutional uh, implementation, in the implementation yeah. yes, had a time span. That time span is my problem. It was too, too short. short. Yes. Mm -hmm. And and then um, the transitional authority was replaced by IGRTC. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How is yeah. that working? <laughs> okay. Mm. Um, um, so it's struggling. <laughs> I, I, it's not struggling. It's mm -hmm. drowning. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> so IGRTC came in mm. uh, to take over the duties of, of, of the transitional authority. Right. Um, and as he says, uh, I'm saying it's struggling. He's saying it's, it's drowning. drowning. Yes. <laughs> you know, but um, really, basically, that's that's the law. That's what we put in place. This one expires by this time. This Bring one in another one. Mm. My point exactly. Uh -huh. It's deliberate. Because uh -huh. when those timelines were being put, uh -huh. other timelines could have So been put. are we mm. as Kenyans then shooting ourselves on the foot? Yes, we no 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 no. Uh -huh. Someone is shooting my foot on my behalf. Uh, I, 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 who I, I, is I, it? Yes. <laughs> Actually I wanted to add mm -hmm. that uh Washira Wainaina, yes. the constitutional lawyer, yeah. always argues mm -hmm. that the Senate and the lack of uh, allocation of resources yes. um was a huge miss in the yes. constitution mm -hmm. and actually pushing for 
an amendment to that yes. and i recognizing the need but also there's the question of our culture mm -hmm. because we've seen uh, people coming in as senate mm -hmm. and you know even when i think senator if i look at the us it's yes. this stereotype of our of older a yes yeah. uh, someone who has mm -hmm. CT, CT, mm -hmm. you know someone who has <laughs> yes. seen yes. how our country yes. has developed yes. to give advice yeah, yeah. Uh, but you know in kenya it's a it's a completely different uh culture because you see people coming in as senate mm -hmm. uh, then they transition into governor yes or they even sometimes transition into member of parliament it's an aspirational position it almost. is mm -hmm. it's like mca mm -hmm. for older people mm -hmm. with resources mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, really mm -hmm. and some of them <laughs> and some of them look at it as a as a stepping stone mm -hmm. but it's also mm -hmm. questionable in terms mm -hmm. of uh, whether people who go for that particular position also understand mm -hmm. uh, the importance of that particular position mm -hmm. so it would be interesting to hear from you mm -hmm. when you enter the senate seat mm -hmm. what next mm -hmm. for a lot of senators <laughs> Ah, interesting. Mm. <laughs> you know? <laughs> the senator, huh? <laughs> <I'm in play>. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it's interesting. It's interesting. Um, I can tell you yeah. that um, there are those senators who went in and actually believed they could, you know, be like that American senator. Yes. Mm. You know? And they have performed very well. Mm. But uh, also, <laughs> they have uh, graduated. <laughs> Some of them have graduated into governors. Yes. The, the Orengos of this world. The, um, uh, what's, the, the, what, what's the name of this guy, Wabarua? Um, the Moranga guy. On, uh, um, Kangata. 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 Yeah. You know, yes. Irungu Kangata. Quite a number of them have graduated into governance. Into governance. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because, you know, sometimes you realize, okay, we are passing this good legislation. Mm -hmm. But if at the other end, nobody is implementing as they should, mm. you almost feel like taking the challenge. Uh, and say, uh, okay, enough of the good laws we have made and they are being shelved. Now, I am going to be the implementer. Okay? Mm. And so don't be surprised. <laughs> if you well, see a governor coming if, from a senator If you see point. myself going for governor, because <laughs> <Yes>. I believe, <laughs> okay. you know, I believe I'm, I could go do now implementation as it should be done, mm. you know, according to the constitution. Because sure. I understand what devolution is meant to be all about. I have passed the laws in the Senate, okay? Someone may not be doing his job well, or it is, an, it is a time to, to, to go do the actual job. Mm. Roll your sleeves and work for the people. Indeed, and, but somebody does have to ask the questions in terms of accountability and yes. making sure that these funds that, yes. you know, uh, counties struggle to get mm -hmm. and that the promises that are made and yes. the contracts that you sign in terms yes. of performances mm -hmm. are actually carried out. Do you think that there is more room for awareness and agitation mm -hmm. to be made when we're talking about this fund? Because mm -hmm. truth be told, if mm -hmm. we're saying that the reason why we've not seen the Senate function mm -hmm. live out to mm -hmm. its proper potential yes. is because of a fund mm -hmm. then i would assume that agitation and clamor for this fund will be a lot louder than what we hear today mm. because i mean i agree with you mm. i do agree with you minus the funds here is the senator uh you could be the senator for migori or whatever yeah you've decided to take me to migori I, okay. I have, yes I will, I, I will go migori, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just uh, giving an example. <laughs> or you could be the senator for Kajiado. Mm. Ah, I mean, no, that's not yeah. <laughs> <laughs> here you are. Yes. Um, only with your payslip and, 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 and your one vehicle and driver. Mm. And that's it. I mean, okay, that's for you. For you, the person. Mm. Mm. All right? Then what about the office? What about, you know, the 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 system that I, should I, I should ask do you have an office <laughs> do you uh, is it staffed um i mean does the government provide senators with offices yes mm -hmm. staff members 
um, you have a well for a nominated member, mm. you have three people. Three people. Yes, you have a bodyguard, mm -hmm. you have a driver, mm. and you have a peer. peer. Mm -hmm. That's it. Wow. Okay. Nerima okay. thinks that's a lot of people. No, <laughs> <Okay>. I don't. <laughs> I'm wondering how you're wondering how you're getting the job done. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Yes, and, yeah. and and you're supposed to to oversight the entire country. Yes, mm. the county. Okay, mm. not not the county, the, the entire country. country. Mm. Okay, you're supposed to know what's happening in Wajia. You're supposed to know what's happening in Nakuru. You're supposed to know what's happening in Migori and what's happening in Nairobi. I mean, the and and the governors have the resources, enough resources. To do the job if they wanted to do the job and also enough resources to stifle whatever they want to stifle mm -hmm. yes they do you get it they do yeah but so, they're also in a position where they fully on the you see this is a thing mm -hmm. that here the senate mm -hmm. of complaining obviously about yes. the fact that we don't have enough yes right in terms yes. of resources capacity whatever it may be mm -hmm. but guess what yes the county bosses know this too. Yes, they do. They're fully aware mm -hmm. that you don't have the power mm -hmm. uh, to do the job of oversight as it should be. Yes, yes. So isn't this a stomping ground for so much to happen? Because it they is. know that even if you, um, Paris Tobiko, mm -hmm. wants to come out in an oversight role powerful as ever, mm -hmm. they know that uh, you don't have the equipment to do this. They know. It, 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 they, they are very well aware. Mm. They are very well aware, and and of course they will take advantage of this situation. Unfortunately, so you know, um, and, and so as Kenyans we should be serious, you know, and not just for the Senate, any oversight body, mm. really, including the Auditor Generals, including um, any other oversight body, they should be well enabled mm. you in know the, it should be functional the, Senator, the, mm -hmm. the kenyan people yes do their bit yes we provide our elected leaders with an environment mm -hmm. where we don't bother them too much mm -hmm. and we also don't ask too much yes and the little that we ask is not given mm -hmm. so what do they think will happen when we actually start bothering them because <sighs> we allow you to do your things mm. and it doesn't happen mm. So when we decide, okay, these guys don't seem to understand what they're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. So why don't we assist them? What do you think? You Kenyans, you know, are interesting people. Mm. Kenyans, in every five-year circle, have a chance mm. to do the right thing. We may not wait for five years. Really? Yes. Uh, I would want to see that kind of situation. Mm. I mean, <laughs> because anyway, I know the, the stipulated pe the constitutional period of five years where, you know, Kenyans who are tired and annoyed with the kind of leadership that's in place yeah. have the chance to do an overhaul of all of this, of, of, mm. you know, and, and just change things. Mm. But the more we uh, Kenyans are given the chance to uh, do that, the more things remain the same. Interesting note to end on uh, nominated Senator Paris Tobiko. Thank you for being our guest this morning. Many things to be thinking about moving forward. It would be interesting to hear the, the, the sound of agitation uh, get a little bit louder so that we're all aware of what's going on. Thank mm -hmm. you for being our guest on Kenya's Biggest Conversation this Thank morning. And we look forward to having you again in the future. Thank Asante you. Sana. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. This is The Situation Room, the only way to start your day.